might be a bit more added time. We've got to 94 minutes. We were told it was four. But then we've had a little bit of delay with the goal. And that late last incident, there can't be much more of this, surely. But this will go down as a World Cup classic, all right. Argentina need that ball and they need to get it forward and fast. Eight up a few more seconds. They've just got to hit this forward now. They have to. Here's Di Maria. Aguero turns it round the corner. There still might be something. Passes across the face of the goal. Argentina very, very nearly. But the whistle has gone and France are into the quarterfinals. What a match here. An epic game between two of the biggest names in world football. Seesaw emotions going first one way, then another. But Messi's out of the World Cup and Argentina are out. France have won it 4 3. big headline sorry it is Lionel Messi and is this the last time we see him in that Argentina shirt and the last opportunity that he has to get that World Cup title Messi will step up 91 international goals for Messi good from the penalty spot as well what's he not good at <laughs> very very little very little JP on the whistle, Messi with the strike, and an easy goal! Argentina's up! Could be a dark horse to do well go far in this tournament. Almost played up the middle. Saudi Arabia for their first good look and they tied it! Al Shari with maybe the biggest goal of his life. They're going for it. Abdul Hamid to the right. Cross is denied, but given right back. Shot goal is blocked. It was headed for goal. Touchdown. Look out here. Shot taken. Goal! Stunner, one of the biggest upsets in World Cup history. Two to one. Saudi Arabia has defeated heavily favored Argentina. We're about to watch Argentina play. They might be 90 minutes from being out of the tournament. This is his final chance to get his hands on that one trophy that has eluded him. See for Enzo Fernandez back out wide for Di Maria into the middle for Lionel Messi. It had to be him. Leo Messi delivers again for Argentina. Argentina lost that game, Messi's out of the World Cup. This is potentially his last World Cup, and for him to exit it in the group stage, that, that would have been crazy, ridiculous. But in the biggest moment, when the game looked like it was a little bit stale, you needed a moment of magic, who steps up but the GOAT to deliver that moment. A lot of people think he's the best player ever. He's the only player that's won seven Ballon d'Ors, and uh, 
The only thing he hasn't done is win a World Cup. And if he does that, I mean, you just can't argue with the fact that he is the GOAT. Early cross in! It's in for a goal! It's Alexis McAllister! So Fernandez trying to chip it through. And there's another goal for Argentina. Julian Alvarez! And Messi continues on his quest to win a World Cup with Argentina. Plenty of staunch rearguard action from the Socceroos up to this point. Messi's pass. And he gets it back, Lionel Messi! That is what he does! Lionel Messi reaches out for perfection and grabs it! I think there is no debate that this is the greatest player that we have ever seen play the game. Messi. Messi still. Feeds it through. Here's the chance. And Argentina take the lead. King Leo. He's a man made for the big moments. Bernardo's resets it wide. Bernardo's again. A free header to go. The Dutch are done yet. Vout Veghorst. Gakpo right footed. Emiliano Martinez dancing just in front of his goal line. Comares rolls it in. It's a goal. The Dutch have scored. and Argentina in penalties. What a Friday it's been. And what could be the final game of his international career. Messi scores. Montreal against the big man, Andre Snowbert. Montiel delivers. Here's an example, just pick your spot. Don't worry about the keeper. Get over the top of it, hit the back of the net. Snowbert goes the wrong way. Has to make this to keep the Netherlands alive. And he does. A lot of pressure on this kick. And he just handles it so well. 21 years of age has come out of absolutely nowhere to be on this field. Can send Argentina to the World Cup semi-final with this kick of the ball. And the Dutch are still alive. The Dutch still are in sudden death. They have to make this kick. And he does. Andre Snowford trying to get in his head. Can he force a save or a miss to keep the Dutch alive and send us to sudden death rounds? Or can Latora Martinez send Argentina to the World Cup semifinal? Messi in Argentina's dream of a World Cup title for their king lives on. I mean, Luka Modric, both are winners. You have to be a fighter to, to, to be a winner. But at the same time, they've both been to World Cup finals. They've both lost World Cup finals. This is their both last opportunity at World Cup. So, and at the same time, but only one will go on. Who will be the person that gets to the final? And who will be the person, hopefully, that, that brings it home finally? Alvarez now to many with an important step to win that ball in. And so Fernandez will trip up in the edge of the area. No foul, says referee Rosato. Messi can't believe it. Julian Alvarez, can he get on the end of this one? He will. Julian Alvarez tackled in there. It's still loose. It's going to get a penalty. Penalty. Yeah. Penalty for Argentina. Yellow card to Lavakovic. It's not a 
time to get cute. How about that? Smash it in the corner. Lavakovic goes the right way, but there's no keeper saving that. It's rising, it's hit with venom, it's in the top corner. And Lionel Messi gives Argentina the lead with authority from the penalty spot. Fifth goal in the tournament. Messi reaching out for that ball, it's gonna work. Julian Alvarez, he's got the support of Molina coming up to his right. Alvarez wants to run it himself on my ball back to it does! One end of the field to the other! 2-0 Argentina! Messi dances around, turns the corner, gets inside of him, cuts it back! Julian Alvarez, 3-0 Argentina! What a performance tonight! Lionel Messi gives Vardiol, the 20-year-old, gives him a lesson here. This is just out of this world. Watch this. Spins him inside out. Twists him, twists him into a knot. Look at that. Goodbye. Turns on the Jets. Inside has the awareness now. Picks his head up. Sucks in so many defenders. What a tournament Vardiol's had. But this moment right here against the GOAT. Sit down, young man. Let me teach you a lesson. Look at this. Goodbye. See you later. Right foot. Picks up his head. And it's Julian Alvarez with his second of the game. The strength, the balance, it's poetic. And it's Lionel Messi, the provider, third assist of the tournament. And that will end the game, and Argentina will play in the World Cup Final. Messi was quite simply otherworldly tonight. A goal and assist. Now has five goals and three assists. He is your golden boot leader, and he is off to his second ever World Cup final. What he wants to talk about is, to quote the Brady Bunch, Messi, Messi, Messi. Well, let me give you another Brady analogy, Rob. I want to paint a picture for you guys. Imagine if we were watching today Tom Brady with all the career he's had, but minus the Super Bowls. Or imagine if we were watching Michael Jordan with the career he had, but he's in game seven. He had never won an NBA final, and this was his one opportunity. That deuce is what we are watching with Lionel Messi today. He's done everything you could possibly imagine in this sport, except win a World Cup title. And I think if he wins today, the majority of people in the soccer world and the sporting world will say, this is the greatest player we have ever seen. I just like the fact that the world is tuning in. Billions of people around the world. There's so little in this world that unites us as a country, unites us as a planet. And there are people that are tuning in to see Messi, to see Argentina, to see Mbappe, to see France, to see all of these stories play out. It's a beautiful game for a reason, Rob Stone. Rue pokes it away, but right to McAllister. Alvarez is touched. That will work for Di Maria. The Bailey comes to meet him. Di Maria cuts her out around him on Di Maria. Tag of the legs. Penalty for Argentina. Lionel Messi's record 26th career World Cup game. He's played more games than any man in history in this tournament. How many billions of eyeballs are watching these two men 12 yards apart? Messi scores! The focus, the concentration, the pressure. How about that? Just cool, calm, and slots it the other way. Waits for Larice to go to the right. Cold as ice. It's been his tournament. He doesn't want to let this moment pass. Messi, Julian Alvarez on the run. Alexis McAllister, Di Maria is on the far side. Here it comes, Di Maria. That touch right there, just into the path, the weight, the awareness there of McAllister, knowing that he has the run of Di Maria and then not overcooking it. Just the perfect weight on the pass will allow him to take it first time. He hits it down into the ground, over and on rushing Larice. What a finish, what a goal. Argentina masterclass from the very first minute. And they are rolling. Members of the 86 winning team here as well. All the speed from Polamuani. He dragged down. Penalty. Penalty for France. 12 minutes to go. It's 
made his name by scoring goals. First penalty attempt of the tournament for France. This is their chance. And Mbappe scores. Martinez got a hand to it. Well, Argentina handing France an opportunity. Mbappe says, okay. Martinez goes the right way, does get fingertips on it, but with the pace of it, takes it into the back of the net, comes back across goal. Kylian Mbappe barely had a touch in and around the box. Trying to find Mbappe now. He'll steer back inside. Turok! Mbappe! Messi's pocket. Look at this little one-touch passing at the end of this. Completely sends Molina wide and then the first time finish doesn't allow it to settle, doesn't allow Martinez to get set. Killing Mbappe. As we said, barely a touch in the game, barely a moment. But he has the quality to come to life when the opportunity presents itself again. Martinez with hands to it, but the power and the execution from Killing Mbappe the French have been down and out, and they have risen back. TL, Messi's way offside, lifted forward. Latour Martinez is going to get to that one, knocks it down for Messi. Into the middle, Fernandez. Latour Martinez, save Messi! Cleared away, did it cross the line? Did it cross the line? Yes, it did! Argentina has the lead! the magician once again when Argentina need him most he delivers two goals on the night he wants that World Cup trophy Argentina won it for him and so close to delivering it for his nation and for millions around the world it had to be him Swinger from him in deep, flipped away. Mbappe, that was blocked, was it a hand? It was! Penalty for France! Penalty for France! This would be Mbappe's hat trick, the second man in history to score three goals in a World Cup final. On the 118th minute. Well, you are seeing greatness in execution on both sides, but what you are seeing from the French, the heart of a champion. Both Messi and Mbappe, so much pressure riding on these moments. And this one to determine who goes oh, first, who shoot. goes second. They shoot first, yeah. you defend. Guys. So, France will shoot first. This is going to be fascinating to watch, but your best penalty penalty taker going first, setting the tone for France. Martinez got a piece of it for a second time tonight, but Mbappe scores. The most important kick of his life to date. Rolls it in. Came off the bench tonight. He takes it the second round for France. Saved! Martinez reads the body language here of Coman. He's trying to close the door, come back to that near post. Look how early he goes. The anticipation, but just him reading that, the extension and the jump, but also with the foot behind the line. Clean save. He came on in the final minutes of this specifically to take this penalty kick. Which he scores! Blue and white in the background, and Emiliano Martinez in front of him. And he missed! In the quarterfinal, this would put Argentina on the brink of winning the World Cup.
Martinez can save. Argentina win the World Cup. And Colomani delivers. But Argentina can win with this next kick. And a hush over 88,966 fans at Lucille Stadium. Gonzalo Montiel can win the World Cup for Argentina with this kick. Yes! dream coming true and these scenes will live forever as Lionel Messi and Argentina have won the world